Law number four. Always say less than necessary. When trying to impress others, remember that the more you say, the more common and out of control you may appear. Even if your words are ordinary, you can make them seem original by keeping them vague and open-ended and sphinx-like. Powerful individuals impress and intimidate by saying less, as the more you talk, the greater the chance of saying something foolish. An example of violating this law is seen in the story of Coriolanus, a military hero in ancient Rome. Despite his legendary status and battlefield victories, his entry into politics turned sour. During his campaign for consul, Coriolanus displayed his battle scars to evoke emotions from the crowd, which initially seemed successful. However, on election day, his arrogant and insolent words, directed mostly at the wealthy citizens accompanying him, revealed his true nature as a braggart. The people turned against him, and he faced further backlash when he criticized democracy itself. Coriolanus's downfall came from his inability to control his words. By boasting and insulting others, he shattered the image of the awe-inspiring hero the people had imagined. This discrepancy between legend and reality disappointed his supporters, undermining his power and credibility. If Coriolanus had said less, he could have maintained his powerful aura, secured his election, and pursued his anti-democratic goals. However, he failed to tame his tongue, leading to his ultimate banishment. Learn from Coriolanus's mistake. When you speak less, you avoid offending others and revealing your true feelings. By mastering the art of saying less, you can maintain an air of power and respect. Remember, the human tongue is a beast that must be tamed, as an untamed tongue can bring you grief. Do not squander your words, as true power does not come to those who talk excessively. In the words of Leonardo da Vinci, oysters open completely when the moon is full, and when the crab sees one, it throws a piece of stone or seaweed into it, preventing the oyster from closing again. The crab then uses the oyster for its own sustenance. Similarly, those who open their mouths too much put themselves at the mercy of the listener. Now let's see at a historical character who successfully applied this law. In the court of Louis XIV, important decisions were debated tirelessly among nobles and ministers. After much deliberation, two representatives would be chosen to present the opposing sides to the king, who would make the final decision. However, once the representatives approached Louis and presented their arguments, he would simply respond with I shall see and walk away. He never consulted anyone further on the matter. Louis XIV was a man of few words, known for his enigmatic silence. His famous phrase, let it, say moi, I am the state, spoke volumes in its brevity. His minimalistic approach to communication was intentional, keeping others off balance and uncertain of his true thoughts and intentions. By staying silent, Louis prevented others from deceiving him by telling him what they thought he wanted to hear. Instead, he learned more about them as they revealed themselves through their lengthy speeches. Lewis's silence instilled fear and kept those around him under his control. It was a cornerstone of his power, as his words, smiles, and even glances became highly valued due to their scarcity. His majesty was amplified by his restrained use of words, as noted by St. Simon. Cardinal de Retz aptly stated that saying foolish things as a minister is even more damaging than doing foolish things. Learn from Lewis's example. Embrace the power of silence and keep others guessing. By speaking less and listening more, you gain valuable insights and maintain an air of mystery. Remember that your words hold great value, and by choosing them wisely, you can enhance your influence and maintain control over those around you. Silence can be a potent tool in the game of power. When you say less than necessary, you create an aura of greatness and mystery, making others uncomfortable. Humans are driven to interpret and explain, but by controlling what you reveal, you keep them guessing. Their attempts to fill the silence will expose their weaknesses, leaving them feeling unsettled and pondering your every word. This strategy applies beyond the realm of kings and statesmen. In all aspects of life, the less you say, the more profound and mysterious you appear. By saying less than necessary, you create an illusion of meaning and power. Moreover, speaking less reduces the risk of uttering foolish or dangerous statements. 
Remember, once words are spoken, they cannot be taken back. Maintain control over your speech. Be cautious with sarcasm, as the temporary satisfaction it brings is outweighed by the potential consequences. Learn from the wisdom of Han Feitsu, a Chinese philosopher, silence allows you to understand others' intentions and reveals their true motives. Let others speak first, and through their words, gain insight into their thoughts. Embrace the power of silence and wield it to your advantage in the pursuit of authority. Reversal, the art of strategic talking. While silence can be powerful, there are situations where speaking up is the wiser choice. Complete silence can breed suspicion and insecurity, especially among superiors. In such cases, it's important to strike a balance and choose the right moments to employ silence or speak up. Sometimes, it's beneficial to adopt the role of the court jester, entertaining and engaging in conversation while concealing your true intelligence and intentions. Words can also serve as a smokescreen to mask any deceptive practices. Engaging your listener with extensive talk can divert their attention and mesmerize them. The more you speak, the less likely they are to suspect you of being cunning and manipulative. Instead, they perceive verbosity as a sign of helplessness and lack of sophistication. This reversal of the silent approach used by the powerful allows you to deceive more effectively by appearing weaker and less intelligent than your target. In summary, strategic communication involves understanding when to embrace silence and when to employ words as a tool for deception. By mastering the art of timing and controlling your speech, you can navigate various situations with skill and cunning. Main takeaways from the passage, saying less than necessary makes you appear more powerful and in control. When you try to impress people with words, speaking more can make you seem common and less powerful. Powerful individuals impress and intimidate by saying less. Like Louis XIV, that was known for his silence and brevity, use few words strategically to keep others off balance and unsure of your intentions. Your silence will instill fear and maintain your power over those around you. By saying less than necessary, you create an air of mystery and power. It puts others on the defensive and makes them reveal more about themselves. Your silence will make them uncomfortable and ponder your every word, further enhancing your power. Silence and saying less should be used with caution and in the right situations. There are times when speaking up or using words strategically can be more effective, such as when deception is involved. Talking more and appearing weaker can be also a deceptive tactic. By distracting and mesmerizing others with your words, you can practice deception more easily. Being verbose can make you seem unsophisticated and less suspicious, allowing you to manipulate others. What about you, though? Have you ever applied silence as gold rule and gain benefit? Share your experience in the comments so others can learn from you, too. Don't forget to subscribe and catch you in the next video.